Hello kids, welcome to today's best class and today we'll do clock and calendar. Our learning objectives are what is a clock, watching time in clock, use of AM and PM, the 24 hour clock time, to convert 24 hour clock time into 12 hour clock time, conversion of time, addition and subtraction of hour and minute, what problem of addition and subtractions of hour and minute, calendar, conversion of years and months, addition and subtractions of year and months and word problem on calendar. Next is, what is a clock? Clock is an instrument used to measure, keep and indicate time. Clock ka use up kya karte? Time dekhne ke liye. Next is, watching time in a clock. A dial of the clock is marked with 60 equal small and 12 big division. This is the face of clock. It has 12 equal division and 60 small division. Clear? The minute hand takes 1 minute in moving from 1 division to the next division. Minute hand go 1 division say next division mein jane mein kita lagta hai? 1 minute. It takes 1 hour to complete 1 round of the dial. Pura ek round karne mein. Minute hand ko lagta hai 1 hour. Clear? While the hour hand moves 5 small division or 1 big division. So, 1 hour equals to 60 minute. The clock had 2 hand, small hand and a big hand. Big hand shows minute and small hand that shows hours. So, like here. The clock. The small hand that is on 1 and the big hand that is on 3. 3 means 5 into 3. Because 5 small division hote hain. Our number ke which will like 12 to 1, 1 to 2. So, 5 into 3 that is 15. Clear? And it is not exactly on 3. 3 say 2 division or aage. That means 17. So, time is 117. Or we can say 17 minute past 1. Clear? Like here in this clock. What is the time? The small hand that is between 7 and 6 and the big hand is between 10 and 11. So, we will say the time is 6, 52. 10 pair that means 5 into 10, 50 and 2 more division, 52 or we can say 8 minute to 6, 8 minute to 7. Next hour hone mein abhi kitte 8 minutes hai. So, we will write 8 minute to 7 and time is 6.52. Clear? The simplest form of telling time is writing the hours and minute past. Conventionally, we say minute past of hour up to 30 minute. 30 minute term kehte hai minute past and minute to the hour after 30 minute. Uske baad ki 30 minute pe next hour ke liye jo minutes hote hai. In case... 15, 30 and 45 minutes. We use the word 15 kilo we use quarter past and for 30 half past and for 45 quarter 2 respectively. Like 4.15 quarter past 4, 4.30 half past 4, 4.45 quarter to 5 next hour. Next is exercise 13.1. Write these times in words and figure. So, here the time is 12.15. So, write quarter past 12. Like here. The time is 11.20. So, write 20 minute past 20 minutes past 11. Like this, we'll write the time and write in words. Next is exercise 13.2. Write these time and figure. Quarter to 7. Quarter to 7 means still there's 15 minutes to 7. Means 15 minutes, but 7 o'clock. That's why we have written quarter to 7. So time is 6.45. Clear? 
So you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is use of AM and PM. The day has 24 hours. When the hour hand of a clock goes around the clock once, 12 hours have passed and the hour hand complete two rounds of the clock phase twice a day. The new day begin at 12 o'clock midnight and end at 12 o'clock next midnight. We use AM means and meridian for the time after 12 midnight and afternoon. We use PM post meridian for the time after 12 noon and before 12 midnight. Fact file. We do not write AM for 12 o'clock AM and 12 o'clock noon or PM for 12 o'clock midnight. Now we'll take an example, write the time in AM or PM. 3.30 in the morning, morning mein 3.30 ki baat ho rahi hai, that means 3.30 AM. Because midnight 12 o'clock to afternoon 12 o'clock time will be counted AM and afternoon 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock midnight that is PM. Next is exercise 13.3. Write these time in AM or PM. 10, 0, 5, night. Night mein, that means we'll write at PM. Clear? So practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is the 24 hour clock time. We normally use 12 hour clock to make the time clear. We use AM or PM, but to avoid confusion, Railways, airlines, armed forces use 24 hour clock time. Many digit watches also show the time in 24 hour clock, like here. Now, inside time that is 12 hour clock, outside like 1 to 12, and after 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Total 24 hours. In 24 hour clock time, 12.45 a.m. means midnight is written as 12.45 hours. Clear? 4 a.m. is written as 0400 hours. 12 noon is written as 1200 hours. 12.30 p.m. is written as 12.30 hours. 1 p.m. is written as 1300 hours. Similarly, 10 p.m. is written as 2200 yeah, 2200 hours 12 midnight is written as 2400 hours or 0000 hours the two digit from the left denote the number of hours and the two digit from the right denote the number of minute to left my two digit like here that show number of hours and the left two digit that show number of minute thus to convert PM to 24 hour clockwise time, we add 12 hour to the given time in PM except 12.01 to 12.59 PM. 12.00 AM to 12.59 AM is written as 0001 because midnight ko 12 ko kya se likhte 0000. So, 12.01 AM means 0001 and we'll add hours. 1259 0059 hours. Clear? So, like this, we'll write. Next, to convert 24 hour clock time into 12 hour clock time. Change the 24 hour clock time to 12 hour clock time. 0030 hours. 00 means 12 o'clock midnight. And so, 1230 a.m. Clear? Next is exercise 13.4. Change the 24 hour clock time. First is 12.35 p.m. That means 24 hours pe kar, karna hai. So 12.35 hours. We'll write it 12.35 hours. Common mistakes. 
a.m. to 5 10 p.m. 4 hours 5 minutes that is wrong 9 15 a.m. say 5 and 10 p.m. to kitu jayenge 7 hours 55 minutes clear so you have to practice all the questions of this exercise next is conversion of time we know that one day has 24 hours and one hour equals to 60 minutes one minute equals to 60 second and one hour equals to 60 into 16 that is 3600 second fact five the time 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 hour to 0, 0, 5, 10 hours is written as 12.01 a.m. to 12.59. The time 12.01 hours to 12.59 hours is written as 12.01 p.m. to 12.59 p.m. Now we will take an example. Convert 7 days 16 hours to hour. 7 days 16 hours. 16 hours already asked me. Hai. One day may 24 hours hote. 7 day equals to 7 into 24 plus 16. 184 hours. Clear? Next is exercise 13.5. Convert into R. 3 days 12 hours. 1 day 24 hours. So 3 days 3 into 24 plus 12 hours. 3 into 24 करेंगे, 72 hours हो जाएंगे, plus 12 hours, 84 hours, total हो जाएंगे, 84 hours, clear? So, you have to practice all the questions here. Next is addition and subtractions of hour and minutes. Add 54 minutes and 48 minutes. So, first we add the minute 54 plus 48 that is 102. Now, in 1 hour there are 60 minutes. So, divide by 60 that is 1 hour 42 minutes. So, we will write 42 under minute column and hour may 1 likhenge. So, total is 1 hour 42 minutes or what can we do? 102 में से 63 सब्ट्रैक्ट कर देंगे तो भी 42 आ जाएगा दैट मींस 1 आर 60 मिनट तो मिस निकाल दिए वो आर में ऐड हो जाएंगे एंड 42 मिनट्स क्लियर नेक्स्ट इज कॉमन मिस्टेक 1 आर प्लस 15 मिनट प्लस 40 मिनट 56 मिनट्स रॉन्ग ऐड द सेम यूनिट मिनट मिनट आर प्लस R में R add करेंगे minute में minute that is equals to 1 hour 55 minutes next is exercise 13.6 add 3 hours 27 minutes 1 hour 33 minutes start from minute 7 plus 3 10 0 1 3 and to 5 and 1 6 and you take a 4 now here 60 minutes that is equals to 1 hour. So, that is equals to 5 hours total. Clear? So, you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is word problem on addition and subtraction of the hour and minutes. We will take an example. P who went to bed at 2150 hours and got up at 05 3 0 hours. How long did she sleep? Solution ho jayega sleep time before midnight 2400 minus 2150. 2 or 10 minutes. Sleep time after midnight means 12 o'clock ke baad kitna ho jayega? That is 5 hour 30 minutes. So total ho jayega 2 or 10 minutes plus 5 hour 30 minutes total 7 hour 40 minutes. Clear? Next is exercise 13.7. A film show started at 3.25 p.m. and ran for 2 or 40 minutes. At what time does it end? 3.25 p.m. 
स्टार्ट हुआ था एंड इट रेन फॉर टू और फोर्टी मिनट्स तो टू और फोर्टी मिनट्स एड कर देंगे थ्री प्लस टू फाइव नाउ इस पे से सब्ट्रैक्ट कर देंगे एंड सिक्स इट एंड एट सिक्स फाइव पी एम दैट इज आर आंसर सो यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस ऑल द क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज नेक्स्ट इज कैलेंडर calendar is a system of organizing day for social religion commercial administrative purpose this is done by giving the name of the period of time typically days weeks months and year the date is the designation of a single specific day within such a system look at the calendar for the year 2019 ad the calendar of the year shows all the 12 month it shows days and date for each month do all the months have the same number of days Which month have thirty days? Which month have thirty-one days? Which month has twenty-nine days? What is the total number of days in the year two thousand nineteen? Add the number of days of all month. It come out three hundred sixty-five. Means one year me total three sixty-five days hote hain. Fact file. A year which has three sixty-six days is a leap year. In that year, the February is of twenty-nine days. A year that is divisible by four exactly is called leap year. जो भी year four से exactly divisible है, that is a leap year. The year two thousand sixteen, two thousand twenty, two thousand twelve will be the leap year because they are exactly divisible by four. But the year two thousand ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen will not be the leap year. Each of these will have three sixty-five days. February twenty-eight days. The first Sunday is January two thousand nineteen. Fall on sixth January. So other Sundays fall in thirty, twenty, twenty seven January. After on equal interval of seven days. Similarly, we can find the dates of other day in any month. Next is exercise thirty point eight. Look at the calendar for the year two thousand nineteen and answer. How many months in the year have thirty one days? Name them. Seven month have thirty one days. January, then March, May, July, August, October, and December. These are the month that have thirty one days. Clear? So you have to practice all the questions. Next is conversion of year and months. We know that one year equals to twelve month. So convert seven year five month into month. So seven year five month seven into twelve plus five, total eighty nine months. Clear? Next is addition and subtractions for year and months. Add five years seven month and three years nine month. Seven plus nine sixteen month. Twelve plus four months. One year plus four months. Sum is nine year four month. So make two separate column years and month. फर्स्ट मंथ्स को ऐड करेंगे नाइन प्लस सेवन दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन मंथ्स नाउ ईयर फाइव प्लस थ्री दैट इज एट इयर्स नाउ वी नो इन वन ईयर देर आर ट्वेल्व मंथ वन ईयर यहां से हटा देंगे यहां पे ऐड कर देंगे तो नाइन ईयर्स एंड ट्वेल्व मंथ यहां से रिमूव किए सो फोर मंथ्स क्लियर नेक्स्ट इज वर्ड प्रॉब्लम ऑन कैलेंडर अ स्कूल वर्ल्ड क्लोज एट ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मे एंड ओपन एट एट जुलाई For how many days did the school remain closed? So number of days in May thirty one minus twenty means eleven because twenty first May ko kya ho gaya tha? Close ho gaya tha. That means twenty takira. So eleven days hi ho gaye. 
the number of days closed in june 30 days june mein 30 days hota hai number of days closed in july that is 7 days add kar denge total ho jayega 48 days clear common mistakes days in february 30 minus 1 29 that is incorrect 28 minus 1 that is 27 days in may 31 minus 15 equals to 16 incorrect 13 minus 14 equals to 17 15 may is included in the vacation so take away 14 not 15 what will do thirty one minus fourteen that is seventeen because some kya kya fifteen pe ko include kya hai so take away fourteen not fifteen next is exercise thirteen point nine convert into months four year two month so in one year there are twelve months so four year four into twelve plus two total 48 plus 2 means 50 months clear so you have to practice all the questions of this exercise next is hots question february has 29 days in leap year every fourth year is a leap year 2000 2004 2008 like this or leap year Anuj was born on 29th February 2000. He celebrates his birthday every fourth year. So, in 2016, he will be five years old. Do you agree? Why? Yes. Because every four year he celebrates his birthday. So, 2001 and 2004, one year complete, then 2008, then 2012 and 2016 will complete. Four year will be five year. Clear? Next is let's recall multiple choice questions. Take the correct options whose emblem can be seen on the 100 rupees note that is MK Gandhi. So, B is the correct option. So, here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now, you have to practice it. Okay.